Hey, what's up guys, Enrique here, broker and team leader with PRG Real Estate. Uh, I'm excited to bring you something new today. I actually have a special guest today, Blanca Medellin, which happens to be one of my business partners and my stepmom. Um, and I wanted to feature, uh, feature Blanca on this, this interview because she's been uh, just doing phenomenal this year and, and having one of her best years yet uh, as far as real estate and just kind of wanted to dive in real quick and maybe find out a little bit about her and kind of what's, you know, what her success has been and maybe what's helping her be so successful, even, uh, you know, during this whole pandemic and COVID and all that stuff. So uh, Blanca, welcome to the interview. Hi, Enrique. Thank you. Excited. <laughs> Excited to be on this interview with you. And thank you. Thank you for considering me. Thank you for the introduction. I'm proud to say I'm a really nice, happy partner to be in your brokerage and mentored by you in a sense as well. So yeah, excited to be on here. Awesome. Awesome. So let's, let's talk about, you know, COVID and, and maybe how your business has has been able to thrive during COVID and maybe give us some context of, you know, how it started off when the whole shelter in place, you know, started and maybe what has helped you succeed until today, because you're having one of your best years ever. I think you're on track to probably close over 20 transactions this year. Um, while many agents might be struggling during this time, um, you're doing something different, obviously. So maybe give us a little insight on that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, like everybody, like everybody, when COVID hit, it was like, it's something new. It's a health pandemic. And, you know, not only in our area, but worldwide. I mean, it, it's affecting worldwide everywhere. So it was like, what are we going to do? We're having to follow these guidelines, being shelter in place. And as you know, our business is helping the consumer public and, you know, going out to showings, open houses and all of that just, you know, was kind of like at a halt. So I do have to say that COVID was a blessing in disguise because I've been in real estate in Rica since, you know, since 2004. And um, sometimes we get so comfortable in our position where we forget to go back to the basics. So COVID really, really put a halt on everything and got me to go back to my basics where, to my basics where I hadn't really touched into my database as I should be. And uh, just connecting with everybody, checking in, seeing how everybody was doing, that's what really just generated everything to start, you know, getting back in place. And like you said, it's probably going to be one of my best years. And I'm excited. I've connected with past clients, new family members. So it's been really good. And I want to say it was just that consistency and having a plan, a daily plan. And being that I was at home, there was no excuses. I couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> I couldn't get distracted. I couldn't go anywhere. So I really dug into my database and that's how it's been going ever since. Got it. Got it. So, you know, what, what's cool is that, you know, a lot of people are at home, right? And when we're at home, uh, some people use that as a reason to not be productive. And I've seen that with you it was the opposite you actually had reasons to be productive. And, and I know you were telling me this last time because you were at home uh, uh, with my dad and my brother, right? Who are also at home, work, you know, going to school from home and working from home. So you kind of had to get in the routine, right? Because they're busy, no one else is doing anything. So tell us about that. Like, how did you set up your, your home life initially to help you be productive? Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. So um, we're at home. Uh, Julian, my son, he's a senior in school and my husband's also working from home and he's on the phones as well. And, you know, I had a quick makeshift my little workstation, but I think that having a schedule that kind of forced us three to come together and just say, okay, let's figure our schedule out. And trust me, you know, our, our marketing hour, that hour that we really have as a sacred marketing hour from nine to noon or 9 to eleven thirty, just really became a prominent thing for me because then I had lunch break. Um, my husband was on lunch break, Julian was on lunch break, and I had to hurry up and guess what? Make some lunch, <laughs> make some lunch, get back into that routine. And then I had about an hour to just wrap things up and then go back to my workstation. They're back in their routine and 
it was my follow-up time. And then finally, you know, showing, booking some showings and doing that. So we really honed down our schedule at home. And it was just awesome because it was working for them. It was working for me. And in the sense where I was able to connect with a lot more clients because everybody was home and it was just a friendly connect. Enrique was just really just being genuine and just saying, Hey, how are you guys during, doing during this time? And it was, just, you know, just connecting and that led to other things happening. Yeah. That's so awesome. You know, and, and it sounds like what I'm taking from this is that by you creating a schedule and kind of creating the environment that you were in, right? Manipulating the environment, whether my dad's on calls, Julian's on his Zoom for school, it, it forced you to kind of to stay on it, right? It forced you to stay on it. And tell me like some days when you were making calls, were you always successful, always booking appointments? Or were there some days that you didn't book appointments? And how did you stick to it and not get like demotivated, you know, and stuff like that? You know what? You're absolutely right. It was it forced me to have that schedule and it forced me to just keep on track. And there were days where there were no appointments happening or nothing really drumming up. But then there was days where things were, you know, coming in place and people wanting to meet and people having plans and wanting to make moves and just hearing everybody with a sense of not sure what to do. I I really took it upon myself. And even within our team, I thought, you know, I need to be positive about this. And that was really what I just, that was my driver. It was, I need to be positive. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> and I think once you think of the worst outcome that can happen, everything else, the, the fear goes away and you're just like, you know, I'm going to be positive about the situation and it's going to get better and just keeping on track and just connecting. And every day was just, I can't let nothing distract. And once we, I had that schedule in place, it was so much easier to follow. So that's what really helped me. That's awesome. Awesome. So definitely having some discipline in the schedule and kind of just setting up a routine that you follow has really created that momentum for you, which is now turned into transactions and, and stuff like that. And I truly believe, you know, I tell the, the team that, that a lot of our business relies on building momentum and it takes some time to build momentum. It takes some time of doing that thing consistent every single day. And you finally get the ball rolling. And once the ball is rolling, it almost seems like you're creating like this magnet and, and the, the clients start coming to you. You're right. right. Do, you, do you feel that? Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, early on where I was building that momentum and not really noticing it or not really being aware about it, I was. I was building the momentum because I was connecting. And before you know it, I was booking some showings and we were out there. And the PED forms, who hates those PED forms? Oh, my God. But now it's like easy breezy piece of cake. I got very creative. I'm listing like 10 properties on one. <laughs> but, you know, you learn the system. And exactly what you're saying is that momentum and that energy just kept it going and like you know I have to say I was able to get five clients in contract in one month had I ever done that before I don't think so I can't remember but it just happened and it's still happening and it's still growing and I think too is just that mentality having that mindset having that goal having that vision and things will happen obstacles will pop up but it's just going around them and figuring it out yeah Excellent. Excellent. Now, Blanca, now that the momentum is built, right, things are rocking and rolling. Um, you seem to kind of be in your groove and, and you're busy. I know you're busy, right? I, we have these conversations. What are some of the challenges you're having now as opposed to, you know, in the beginning? What are some of the challenges you're facing now with being busy and, and trying to balance all that? Yeah, that's a really good one. So it's building that momentum, getting everything going. And then you feel like, good, this is what I wanted. And then you have something else that you need to figure out. And for me, it's scheduling. So having that balance, right? Having that good balance, because you can definitely just overkill yourself or burn yourself, as we say, and you definitely don't want to do that. You still want this to be fun. You still want this to be, you know, something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. So it's scheduling and definitely taking care of yourself, giving yourself that family time or scheduling that breather moment or, you know, just 
thinking about you and giving yourself a little bit of time and definitely scheduling and keeping that momentum and not losing the focus. Cause then it could be easy too to say, Oh, I'm good. I'm set. My pipeline's looking super hot. So I'm going to give myself a three, three week vacation, but keep in mind, you know, it's the momentum, it's keeping it going. And yes, definitely reward yourself, but get back on track, get back on track and have that focus. So that's kind of like what I'm working on right now is, is that scheduling and that family time. My husband's the one that's a little more needy, <laughs> but other than that, it's just, you know, scheduling and, and keep it going. That's awesome. And, and that's, that's what we preach to here at the office is that we don't want you going 150% or hundred miles an hour. I'd rather have you coasting at 70, 80 miles an hour because that's sustainable in the long run, right? If you're going like too hard where you feel like you got to take a bunch of time off, you might be going too hard, right? Maybe pull back a little bit, take some days off here and there, you know, get that family time in. So you still feel that you're fulfilling the other parts of your life and you can maintain kind of that consistent pace that, that you're going at. Do you, do you think that that is true? Yeah, I agree. Definitely. Because, and the benefit I have from your model, which is the team approach, I've now started to use, you know, leverage off of some of my colleagues, some of the newer agents who are also learning and gaining some experience that has really helped me to leverage. And like you said, schedule that family time. So you're not going at 110%, but keeping it at a steady pace so that you're still feeling good and having the energy. Very important for sure. Excellent, excellent. So uh, to kind of wrap up, I got kind of one last uh, one last question for you. Um, you've recently we've developed this leadership program, and and you're one of the, the team leaders here in the office, and you're mentoring a lot of the new agents that come on. Um, from now, you being in this position and now mentoring other people, what are, what's some advice you can give some of the newer agents, um, you know, who are just starting out, right? Some advice you can give them or maybe some things that you're noticing and that you would encourage people to either work on or change? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't too sure about taking on this role because it was really during that time where I was really busy and I was thinking I can't add anything else right now because I'm just super busy or maybe I'm not ready for this. But now that I've been going through it and we're going through the trainings and I'm helping some of the junior agents, um, I've, I'm really embracing it and enjoying it. I'm, I'm liking it. I like what I see. Um, I'm kind of remembering when I started back in 2004, how, how I felt, what I didn't know, what I would have wished for. Um, so definitely it's been a great experience. I feel that I'm learning as well and growing. And for the junior agents, it's just, you know, be consistent. Have your schedule have your day planned out, be consistent, and most importantly, be open to learning. Have that, op have that openness to say, yes, I want to learn as much as I can and hear and ask questions and being open to good criticism, I think is going to be key and also just, you know, partnering up, partnering up with who you feel comfortable with and just having that schedule. If you don't have a schedule, your day is really not planned. You really don't know which direction you're going. You're just kind of going with the flow and getting pulled in many directions. But if you have a, a schedule, something to follow, which is kind of what we really um, show the junior agents is have yourself scheduled out, know where you're going, have a goal. Even if it's like little rocks, then maybe bigger rocks, you know, just, I think that's really important. Awesome. Awesome. I think that's, uh, excellent advice, you know, and that's something we really preach here is, uh, and one of the biggest values that we bring to the table for agents is that structure and accountability. Um, I truly believe, and I've learned over time that discipline will equal freedom, right. right? The more disciplined you are now you're living your life by design. You're designing out your day. You're designing out your life versus just letting kind of life take you where it goes. So, uh, I, I definitely, you know, love to see you embracing that. And, and it's obviously working, it's obviously working. You're benefiting from that. It is. It really is. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm glad that I was 
nominated <laughs> to take the role because it's making me learn and grow as well in my business. And I do have to say, um, I'm also getting a little better on social media. I'm going to start posting a little more and just kind of being out there. I know that that's the new trend, the new thing. So um, like I said, you know, every day is something, lear learning something new and trying something out of the box. Excellent, excellent. Well, I think we, uh, I think we talked about a lot of great stuff. I want to thank you. I know you're super busy. I know I kind of pulled you in here on a whim. So thank you for being open to sharing your knowledge. I think you have a ton of knowledge and I'm always pushing you to put yourself out there more and, and just really give back to the community and, and share what you have. Cause you, I've learned a lot of stuff from you, you know, even just us working together and, and there's so much, uh, you can inspire so many people to really do great and, and, and take that step forward of you know buying or selling their first home or even doing better in their, their real estate business. So kudos to you and cheers to, to much more success. Thank you. Thank you, Enrique. And no, and I'm, I'm honored to be on your team and have you as my leader as well, because it doesn't matter the age group. You're, I, I'm actually supposed to be like the mentor for you, but I'm learning a lot from you and learning a lot of the new stuff and um, the new age, I, I guess I could say, but it's been awesome and it's helped me develop as well as a person. So thank you. Thank you. Proud to be on the team and excited for all the success for PP Real Estate and proud to say that I'm a part of it. Awesome, guys. Well, there you have it. Blanca Medellin, rock star uh, real estate star, agent uh, here at PRG Real Estate. Um, if it's okay, Blanca, if anybody wants to reach out to you, maybe to if they have any tips or advice or anything with buying, selling, or even the business side of it, I think they can definitely gain some value. So I'll put your uh, contact info in the description and uh, let's go after it. Let's get after it. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a good one, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>